Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, SNS Storm Chasers, meteorologist Joe Chaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com. Um, check out all three sites for all the latest weather information. We're going to look at today's view at the tropics, and uh, we still have a very busy look here. Uh, a few things are going on, and I may wind up uh, updating this video this evening, depending on one thing or another. Uh, but we have uh, Hurricane Gaston, and you can see a well-formed uh, eye here. Uh, Gaston doesn't seem to be moving very much, kind of inching its way toward the uh, northwest. We have disturbed weather off the Carolinas that's uh, become a little bit more uh, concentrated uh, during the overnight. We still have this disturbance churning its way now through uh, the southwestern Bahamas and heading uh, into the Florida Straits uh, that got a little more concentrated overnight. This is an upper air storm that's sitting north of the Leeward Islands. This is the upper air system that sheared Gaston for a couple of days, but now you can see it's completely out of that environment, and that's why it's strengthening. And let's get a little specific here. First off, uh, this is the system here, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. This is the system here. Uh, there is a weak circulation in here somewhere. You can probably just pick it out right in, in there, I believe. Much of the thunderstorm activity appears to be on the western side of this. Um, there's still some issues regarding dry air, so development uh, is going to be uh, slow to occur, but I would just caution, sometimes these East Coast systems uh, that develop uh, from the top down can uh, suddenly surprise you at the last minute, and the next thing you know, you have a, a, a tropical storm there. Not saying that that's going to happen, but it does happen from time to time. I still think it has no impact on our weather at all, given the jet stream pattern, which we'll get to in just a second. This is the system in the Bahamas. There appears to be another weak low here, too. Um, still remains somewhat uh, disorganized, but uh, conditions may become a little more favorable so tonight, later tonight and Monday as that low makes its way through the Florida Straits and into the southeastern uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, here's Gaston, and you can see the eye kind of came and went yesterday, and now it's been there pretty much all night long and into this morning, pretty well-defined eye, and also not showing too much movement, maybe a little bit of a jog there toward the uh, west-northwest uh, in the uh, last hour or two, but going to have a tough time getting past 55 degrees west. Now, let's show you, I want to just show you a couple of things here with regards to the weather models. And uh, the GFS wants to take this low into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, kind of meanders it there, and then gradually takes it northeastward across uh, Florida, and then it just sort of leaves it there, okay, or drops it even back into the Gulf. So it really doesn't seem to have much of a handle on what it wants to do with this. Here's that low off North Carolina, which it, which the model sort of holds on to as it gets near the coast, and then it gets ejected out to the northeast. And that makes the most sense with that particular system because of what's going on aloft. And I'm going to show you the uh, upper air jet stream here um, with regards to that. You can't have things move up the East Coast if the upper flow is northwest to southeast. I don't care how hard you want to make it happen, or some people seem to want to make it happen. This is not conducive to bring systems up the East Coast. You have a northwest wind aloft. So anything that's down here is going to wind up turning northeastward anyway. So uh, we have this strong upper air disturbance that midweek comes into the northeast. So anything that, that is out off North Carolina is going to eject it, get ejected to the northeast and then eventually that ridge kind of sort of builds black get builds back in a flattish sort of way and you still have a, a jet stream pattern here uh, that uh, it basically shows westerlies from uh, New York State all the way up into uh, eastern Canada trough out in the west and now we're looking at about nine days into this and we're seeing something coming into the picture uh, off the Bahamas um, the uh, there is a disturbance that's going to be moving off the African coast that all the models develop into a tropical storm later this week. So that's something we're going to have to add to the equation. But the bottom line is I don't see anything here that says that we have um, issues regarding the tropics uh, with any of the tropical systems that are running around at the moment. I want to show you the European because I'm sure there's chatter about this today. Um, you know, the European, I have to tell you, has not been really very good. Uh, in, in in a lot of ways, it's 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 had some some real issues lately, 
and I want to just show you what it's doing here with regards to today's systems. It's a little hard to see with the limited amount of European maps that we have available to us. Here's the Carolina low. Here's uh, the low that is in the Bahamas now, which it takes into and, and just south of the Florida Keys. You can see it here. This is tonight. Uh, and then still moving it straight west. Starts to intensify it uh, as we move through the week. Now, we're into Wednesday night here, and we have something out in the, in the uh, north central Gulf of Mexico, which the European then has a hurricane coming into uh, the F Florida between somewhere between Pensacola and Tampa, and then moving northeastward from there over the Labor Day weekend, right along the Carolina coast as a hurricane, and then out to the northeast. To be honest with you, I think this is a really kind of far-fetched solution, given the, fa given the fact that this system has not had uh, any... Um, has not shown any real signs of development over the last number of days. I know the conditions haven't been favorable, but the bottom line is that models have been attempting to make tropical, some of the models have been attempting to make tropi a tropical storm or hurricane out of this uh, over the last few days as it approached Florida, and we see that that has not been the case. So I would be suspect of the, the European model with a look like this. Uh, it does bring that next big high down into the Northeast so that we're going to have a nice, cool couple of days here. Uh, beginning on Thursday and probably lasting into Saturday as that high eventually moves on out. But I would be really suspect about something like this until I see, see clear evidence of uh, of that situation developing. So that's my view on that. You've got my view on the tropics. We'll maybe update it with a new video this evening when we see what happens during the day today if conditions warrant. In the meantime, don't forget... Uh, meteorologist joechaffee.com and weatherlongisland.com and of course sns storm chasers for all your storm chasing needs